How are you? Oh, delightful. Yeah. You often are. Yes, really. <laughs> this is, it's just a joy. Every day. Every day. <laughs> a lot of people have asked, uh, asked me, and I'm sure in turn they've asked you, uh, is Donald Trump good uh, for comedy? What is your take on that? Well, I mean, I moved here 40 years ago. Uh -huh. he, was, he lived, like, over there. Yeah. I've been around him 40 years, and I said from the very beginning, before even he it was nominated, and people started asking that question. And I, I feel the same way today. Uh, he's good for comedy in the way that a stroke is good for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> about right. That sounds about right. You, uh, your, your show, though, uh, which I was surprised when I saw the title, gets better every day. Yeah, uh, so was I. Oh, yeah. Because you're not known uh, for uh, your optimism. And it's a very optimistic title. Well, it is. I, I thought maybe if I put it out there, it would change things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, you know, it's the thing that I do. You know, they, I do a lot of interviews, you, you know, yeah. when you do a tour. And they call up, and every time uh, they, they say, how you doing? And every time I say, oh, it gets better every day. And if they, if they think I'm serious... I know it's not going to be a good interview. <laughs> right. So, um, it, it, you know, and I just think it, uh, there are things that we, uh, we do have that we can be thankful for. Sure. You know? uh, a, lot of, a lot of folks out there are, are worried about global warming and climate change, the end of the world as we know it. And they worry about this because they listen to, well, let's face it, scientists. Yeah. And 96% uh, of them uh, actually believe that it, 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 it's, it's, it's not good. Uh, I know this because I, I have to do research now. Yeah. You know, you have to research this stuff. And that, I didn't get into comedy to do research. <laughs> okay? I got into comedy to make stuff up. <laughs> so uh, they, the reason that they feel this, the scientists, is because they gather something, uh, data. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but data uh, are actually facts. <laughs> and, uh, and so when you listen to that stuff, it gets, pfft, that can ruin a day. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what we decided to do as a people was to turn over the, the whole dealing with climate change and, and global warming. And we handed that, the responsibility over to people who never passed the science class. <laughs> that they didn't get that scares the <laughs> out of me. Um, and, and, and so they, these people, uh, they instinctively, they don't use this, they instinctively feel that we've got uh, you know, nothing to worry about. Yeah. So I feel better already. <laughs> you, uh, I, uh... I have to ask this, as far as optimism. Uh, I, first, I want to give uh, my condolences. Your father passed away uh, about 101 years old. Yeah. And your mother just turned 101 years old. Yes. Do you feel fortunate? Yeah, absolutely. Do you feel fortunate to have, uh, have genes like that? Well, I feel there's a possibility it's not genetic. I think I may be a reptile. Yeah. <laughs> At that age, yes. there's a chance, sure. Yeah. Um, uh, my. My mother, when I called her in the mid-90s and I said, uh, what's it like living this long? She said, uh, and I'm quoting, I wouldn't call it living. I call it not dying. I call it overtime. We celebrated her 100th birthday and she blew out the candles and said, nobody should live this long. <laughs> and at 101, she... She said, um, she blew out the candles and she said, I've made it to 101. Now I can drop dead. <laughs> and then we, we sang happy birthday. <laughs> we were talking uh, backstage. You have a very unique thing you've been doing at your shows. Uh, you've been live streaming the last 20 minutes of your shows. Yes. Uh, in a segment you call The Rant is Due. Yes. And this is not uh, 20 minutes of, of your rants. These are rants that other people, people in the audience, have, uh, have written for you. Yes. And they, uh, it's, the audience that's, that comes to the show writes things about their town. Uh, or the, if you give them too long and they're sitting there 
and watching each other, they start to say things about each other that are yeah. very nasty. Yeah. Why is that idiot, that jackass is wearing an idiotic hat. Um, why am I always stuck behind a person who's seven feet tall? Yeah, right. And then, uh, and then uh, a, a lot of people write in much longer rants about, uh, about the, uh, the, town that, the town that I'm in uh, or the state that I'm in or uh, the area. And it really is a show that is really a show like, let's say, uh, I'll be in uh, Rochester, Minnesota uh, this week, and uh, they will, it will be the Rochester, Minnesota show. And so you, uh, and, and when do you collect them? Is it, is it at the end of the show, or, or when no, do you No, they like... come in, literally, I get them, they come in the room and they start, uh, we, we start getting their, uh, the, the things beforehand, and then they can go to my website and they can... So ahead of time? Ahead of time, go... the, the longer ones come in ahead of time. That's great. People seem to know, and then, and then it's live streamed throughout the world, so I've got people, I've got... I have fans in Tanzania. <laughs> Who want to hear you complain about Rochester, Minnesota. <laughs> exactly. And it makes them feel better about Tanzania. <laughs> what a service you're providing. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for being here. It's always it such really a pleasure to see you. Lewis Black, everybody.